Dual R3 is a flush-mounted Wi-Fi smart dual relay switch and an e-wheelink remote gateway. The device can be installed behind any standard switch to transfer it into a smart switch for wireless remote control with mobile devices or voice command. This device combines several smart devices in one. Dual R3 comes with three working modes, switch mode, motor mode, and meter mode. From where you can choose what you want to use the device for. For the purpose of this tutorial, we have wired a dual switch controlling two light sources. After powering on, the device will enter the Bluetooth pairing mode during the first use. The Wi-Fi LED indicator changes in a cycle of two short and one long flash and release. Download eWe Link app from Google Play or Apple App Store. Follow the instructions on the app to complete the account registration. Tap the plus icon. Make sure your mobile phone's Bluetooth is turned on. Select Bluetooth pairing. Tap Next. Tap Connect next to your device. Select your Wi-Fi network and enter the password. Tap Save. Add the device to one of your rooms. The pairing is successful. When you first connect the Dual R3, you'll have a choice of what mode to use it for. The device has three operating modes. Meter mode, you can monitor the consumption of each of the two channels. Motor mode, with this mode you can control the rotation of the motor connected to the device. Here you can choose from three types of switches for controlling roller blinds, garage doors, etc. And the last one is a switching mode, where for each of the two channels you can choose which trigger mode to assign to your switch. We will use edge mode for a simple double switch. Then we press save. In the schedule function, you can add a schedule for when, and at what time of the week, the device should turn, on or off. With the timer function, we can set a time during the day, when the device should turn, on or off. With the loop timer function, you can set a time and date, for the device to start turn on, or off, repeatedly. It has a function to measure consumption of each of the two channels separately. You can see a history of energy consumption amperage, voltage, and power of the connected device to the given channel. It is possible to see the consumption in real time by setting a measurement period. If you want to change the mode of the device, you can do it by going to settings and pressing the operating mode and choosing one of the three modes. In meter mode, devices connected to both channels are automatically started and you can see the data of both channels. In motor mode, you choose which switch you will use to control the motor. Save all settings. When the device is in motor mode, it will ask to calibrate your motor with Dual R3. 
When you save all the settings you will be able to control the on and off, and rotation of the motor and at what percentages you want it to run. When you want to change the mode from motor to switch, the app will prompt you to type confirm to make sure you won't damage the motor and that it is turned off. Then tap save. In remote sub device you can add other smart devices to dual R3, like S-Mate or R5. You can add maximum power and minimum power of the device to shut down, if there are different values according to the set parameters. You can set an under and over voltage protection and over current protection of the device for each channel. When inching mode is enabled for one of the two channels, the device will automatically turn off after being on for some time after each start. When power to one of the channels is lost, on recovery you can set how the device should be triggered, whether to power on or off, or to restore to the last state it was in. The Dual R3 can be connected to a two-way control switch, allowing you to control one light fixture from two different switches and via your phone. You can connect double two-way control switches to trigger two different lights with one Dual R3. Dual R3 has a LAN connection function that is compatible with Home Assistant. It gives you the power of home automation without the cloud, so you won't depend on internet connection or remote servers.